And uh, yeah, we're going to have lots of, lots of stuff for you here today. We'll try to get done in an hour, uh, but we got a lot to do. Okay. So you see, you see my screen, Ryan? Yeah, I do. Yep. So we're going to quickly walk over the, the new functionality uh, really quick, and then we're going to go into stuff. So you'll see how that stuff works in, in each of those examples. But the Thanks to IO system has really four main components. There's your mailing lists, your message templates, your image templates, and your campaigns. So mailing lists are pretty much all of your segmented lists. You can add a new list from a CSV, upload it yourself, just type it in, select from a map, buy from our leads, that's all there. Message templates are on the postcard, that's the back of your postcard. Or so, letter. Or letter, yep. So there's two different things. There's your postcard ones and then there's your letter ones. So your letter would be your whole thing, your postcard would just be the back. Image templates, that is the front of your postcard or the letterhead that goes behind the text in your letter. And then the campaign section is this is how you can automate sends on our system. So you can go in here and configure however you want mail to go out based on your mailing list, your message template, and your image template. So more or less this would say send this postcard on this date or on their birthday or the number of days after added to a list, either way. But yeah, we're gonna go into specific examples of how to use this functionality with specific use cases uh, in the real estate world. So I'm gonna hand the voice back over to Ryan. He's gonna start talking about these things and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that while he's talking about why this works. Okay, so you want me to dive in, Justin, you're gonna keep the screen. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll just do it and you talk okay. about what so so um, for, let's, talk, let's start by talking about uh, mailing lists in particular. So go back to the mailing list screen. Um, and as Justin showed you, you can upload lists, um, you can draw on a map, but one of the things we wanted to show you guys was the uh, buy leads functionality, the ability to build mailing lists directly within the system. Um, because uh, you know, about a year ago, it was probably nine months or so ago, Facebook took away a lot of the demographic targeting. They have that special category thing going now. Uh, and a lot of a lot, Facebook's still working, but um, a lot of people don't realize with direct mail and specifically with thanks.io, you can really drill down in here. So Justin's going to go to all individuals and you can see you can, uh, you have the geography stuff. You can pick a zip code or a radius around an address. So he's doing his zip, I think. So you go into a specific zip code there and look at what this opens up. Um, and some of this is just crazy. I didn't. I noticed the other day, you know, that even the, the mortgage debt stuff um, is really intriguing. So Justin's doing length of residence in years. Uh, so you could hit people in their itch cycle, people who've lived in their house for say five to seven years. You know, they've got an income over a hundred K, you know, they're a homeowner. Uh, maybe, you know, they're married and uh, have kids. Um, there's that marital status there under the personal details. Oh, the children's age is very interesting. You know, on Facebook, I've had success. Um, in the past doing like move up or, or move down. So people with young kids might want a bigger house. People with uh, older kids, you know, might be thinking empty nest and might want to downsize. So you can send really targeted offers based on the demographics here. Um, yep. Uh, where's the mortgage stuff? I saw it there. Maybe if you scroll down, I saw it there earlier today. I always forget where it, it is. It's all in there. It's some of the last stuff right here. So we have- Yeah, the credit rate. Yeah. So, you can go in, you know, do they have a swimming pool, children's gender, are they, are they becoming AARP eligible? They also have the estimated credit rating. Do they own a business, their net worth, years since they purchased their home? And you guys know, you know, every seven years on average, somebody's selling their home. That's the average length. So you just go right there and choose seven. All those crazy systems out there that try to figure out who's selling their home, just that's the biggest signal. Uh, this is, and this is what they're doing. They're using some of the similar, <laughs> some of the similar data and selling it to you. Repackage. Yeah. Um, uh, loan to value of home. See, that's really interesting to me. So people who, you know, you could, you know that they've got 50% or less LTV going, right? They, they owe, they've got their house more than half paid off. That might be, depending on the market, that might be where you want to go. Um, yep. You know, they got equity and you know they can sell. Or you don't want to go 90 plus because, you know, they're, they're probably not going to be able to after you get a commission. So 
Uh, and you mortgage guys, Michael, you know, I don't know. But to me, that seems really exciting. Uh, it me. is. And it's, it's just really cool that you can still do this stuff uh, through, through some type of system. It, it, I was super bummed, you know, when they got rid of the ability to target uh, zip codes in Facebook. You know, you got to pick the whole town and that just stinks. You know, who's, who sells to all of Dallas? Like there's good parts and there's bad parts and there's parts I deal with and there's parts I don't deal with. Like that just, that just seems crazy. Yeah. So it's all there. Uh, political affiliation. If you don't like working with uh, people on a certain side of the fence, you can just filter them out. Um, and uh, so the, and the cost is uh, it's $9, 9.9 9 cents a record, right? It's like 10 cents a yep. record. So you buy the list one time. So you can say, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to narrow down a hundred to 500, a thousand people. Um, they're going to get ah, postcards and letters for me all year. You're going to do farming. Right. And, but you only need to buy the list one time. So to get a hundred is 10 bucks and you can keep remailing to the same list over and over again. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it goes down in, in price. I think it gets down to like six cents or seven cents. Oh, does it? A couple yeah. thousand. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, this is, this is a great way to buy leads. Um, I, I can't remember. I've had this question before. I think you can upload the leads list. I don't know if you can to Facebook. Yeah, look, you could down to four cents for 10,000. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yep, so you buy the list once. Um, the other thing I need to look into just is whether or not you can upload those to Google and Facebook, the addresses themselves. I always, I've looked before and I forget what the answer was and then kind of do a cross channel thing. Um, but that's mm -hmm. always a possibility too with the data. You can, you can download it. I know you can to either Google or Facebook. One of them lets you do it by address. Yep. Okay, so, so that's um, going to be one of the big components of any successful direct mail campaign. If you read any books about direct mail, you know, it's about the mailing list. That's, you're definitely going to want to start there. Um, I forget what it is. It's like 40% of your success. Everybody has different numbers. But it is a big deal. Um, and uh, what we're talking about here, we're talking about generating fresh business. We're going to show you a little bit here how to also uh, convert existing business and thank and show you examples as well. But definitely the mailing lists are a really big deal. Um, Justin, the next thing I guess we can show is the, the just listed and just sold tool that yep. we have. Um, this is, we don't need to explain this too much to real estate people what just listed and just sold letters mean, but, uh, it, if you're not already doing regularly, regular just listed and just sold letters, you're probably leaving money on the table. I think anybody on this call who's ever sent them knows that they just still work. Um, so what we've built here. We've got a quick tool that'll kind of make life really simple for you that Justin's like going through. Like really simple. Yeah. So you really just, you go to Trulia and everybody knows how to search there. You know, go find your listing. It's easy. Just go get the URL for it. So here's the link. Just copy the link out of you, out of the screen there. Go back to our system. Choose if you want just listed or sold. Put the link in there. Put your name. Put your phone number. And watch this magic. I hope it breaks on you. It always breaks it's on you. probably going to break. Guaranteed. When, when I'm doing a demo. Oh yeah. Zero chance this works. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. I did it yesterday. There you go. Like two seconds. Took like no brain power. Right here. Go type your message. Ryan always has a good short and sweet one with which, which your Yeah. Uh, your something friend. like, Hey, Hey, uh, I just listed or I just sold one, two, three main street. Um, if you happen to know anybody who might, who, you know, if you have any friends or relatives so that they can actually visualize it in their mind, you know, if you have any uh, relatives or somebody you work with who might be interested, uh, let me know. Um, I've been, I've been loving PSs lately. You know, if you want to go a little further, uh, you know, give your number PS. Uh, if, if, uh, if you're looking, if you think you might want to buy an investment property, I have a, a foreclosure list, uh, and you want to get my weekly deals list or something like that. Um, go ahead and shoot me a text and I'll send that to you too. So you kind of, you hit them with, with information about the property and then, um, and then an offer on the buy side. Uh, the other thing you can do here, of course, is send them online to, if it's just listed, you can send them to a vanity domain or have them text for pictures and price. Um, so there's a few angles there. And what Justin's doing right here is uh, we showed you the buy leads, but if you want free leads, so to speak, you want to build a list for free, you can always use the map and you just draw like he just did. And you got, uh, you know, how many, however many addresses and in, you know, what was that under three minutes, Justin? And we were talking. Yeah. I, I don't know. I was doing something else. I was doing this and it still got done in three minutes. So yep. 
Yeah, I mean, there you go. 20 postcards, $7.80. That, yeah. I mean, it can't get any easier than that. So Bruce is asking, is there an easy way to add your brokerage or personal logo? So do you want to go back into the Canva tool? And, and Yeah, so this is like the tool for, hey, I just want to get this out of here. I don't really care about, you know, the design. I don't want to manually design this because a lot of realtors really struggle with that. So you can go and design this yourself. So you go to Canva, hit OK. Yeah, so you hit the design. You see it right there, guys, that you have the Canva option so it's directly integrated. Uh, the first time you do this, you might have to sign into Canva. Um, you don't need a pro account or anything, right, Justin? I think I'm no, on free now. It's free. Yep. They literally, that's like half their thing is just listed and just sold postcards. Yeah, so he typed, he typed just listed into the search, right? Did that pop up automatically? Yeah, he did not. He just typed just listed. Yeah. And you go in here, you flip out the, the images with your own images. It's, it's, I mean, you guys know Canva. It's, it's really easy to use. Yeah, you throw your logo in there. Once you're done, stuff. you just hit save. So like they, they're charging me for, for this because of the images. Well, just replace the images with your images. They won't charge you anything. They charge for the stock photos. Yeah. So it's free more or less if you just get rid of these photos and upload your own stuff. Justin, could you show, uh, just click on the upload so people can see how to get the image in there on the oh, left on, side. On the picture? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. So. Just, just throw a picture on there. So those are the ones you've already uploaded in the past. Yeah. Or you can click upload an image. There you go. So super easy. Just replaced it with my images. You hit save. They don't charge anymore because you're not using their stock photos. And Bob's your uncle, you're done. Here's your just listed card. So you can put your own logos, your own pictures. Crazy. I mean, that's even, I mean, I took like what, double what the other one did. So more or less, there's like the super lazy route. And then there's like the, I, I can do this a little bit myself. So, and Cam was awesome. Like I said, there's, there's a ton of stuff in here. Like there's probably yeah, all the 60 templates. Yeah, all the holidays are in there too. Um, yeah. Right, Christmas, Easter, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, they got super modern ones, super minimalist ones, you know, whatever you're looking for. That You know, they're in here. And it's super easy to configure. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's just listed, just sold. Um, yeah. You know, probably if you have like an action plan or a CRM where you, you go through a, a process every time, uh, you sell or you list a property, just throw this in there. Have your assistant should be able to do this if you have somebody working for you. Um, and just make it part of their process. Tell them how many you want to send, you know? Yeah. And one thing I kind of a pro tip create sub accounts for the different types of things you do. So you um, can go in here and add a sub account for just listed sold. And you can kind of keep them segmented off of your other main stuff. Since you're adding a lot of just listed and just sold, it won't clog up your dashboard with templates from other stuff you don't want to see. So yeah. the so the sub accounts kind of act like folders. So you can go in here and make separate folders for your different type of stuff you do within your company. That's a good point too. If you, if you are a team leader or you have a um, a brokerage as well. Um, yeah, or or honestly, you're sharing this account at your brokerage and you're trying to make the most out of the forty nine dollars. Just get one account and yep. share it with ten people. Hey. I didn't tell you to go do it, but I'm glad you said that. Not me. <laughs> we have other partners. We're in trouble. All right. But yeah, but yeah, guys, you can, you can kind of treat this as like an, uh, you know, if you have like a marketing agency within, you can have different segments that you're sending to. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's talk a little bit now about expired and FISBO campaigns. And I like to bring these up because, uh, this will kind of show the campaign functionality in action. Um, so Justin's going to go ahead and add a list, a blank list and just call it, you want to just call it FISBO? Oh, okay. So what he's doing here, he's at the upload CSV. This is probably the more common use actually uh, would be if you've got Red X or one of those, uh, one of those type systems and you're getting a daily list of um, expireds, you can just straight upload the list. So this isn't an expired list. I'm just using the e-commerce list, but this is how you do it. You would map the name, you'd map the address, Map the city, zip, state, country, you're done. That easy. Hit process. All of a sudden, our system does its math. Yep. And then it will reload the list. 
And then for expired, it's going to load the list here. You can also manually add to the list that little add next to the spinny icon. You can add at any time a manual address. So if you're if you are going into your MLS every morning or you have your 14 year old kid doing it, and you're looking for new expired, you can do it that way as well. Mm -hmm. um, and there, that was pretty quick. So here's your list. Just uploaded, uploaded and checked 386 people to make sure that this, this is valid and you're in here. So now so, you have a new list. Yeah. So the way the system works then is anybody added to a mailing list, will, cards will then be sent uh, according to campaign rules. And Justin, I actually did a, a a uh, FISBO example yesterday. So there should be a message. Uh, well, no, it's it's in the main account. Um, but you should be able to set a campaign action. So if you go to campaigns, yeah, might already be in there. Yeah, I did one right there up top. So you can see how we can segment out different campaigns based on your different lists. Yeah. So all this is doing is saying send this mailing list, this message template with this image template one day after new items are added to that list. So you can set up a drip sequence of day one, day three, day 20, day 100, just like you would with email. You can do it with print mail. Yeah, so if you, you go into the, yep. if you go into the message templates, I, I think everybody might be interested to see the FISBO letter. It's probably down toward the bottom. Got a lot of junk in here, but the initial FISBO letter. Uh, we haven't shown the handwriting, Justin. We're assuming no. that everybody has seen this before. So. so you can see on the right, I just did, I noticed you had a for sale by owner, up, uh, for sale by owner sign I meant to write. If you ever become interested in listening to Property Realtor, free free call or, or text me. In the meantime, you can go to Market Examples website. So that would be one angle. You send them to a website where they can see your marketing ideas. And then you can see me in the, um, in the PS down there. Uh, if you'd be willing to pay a buyer's agent commission, uh, I'll blast it out to my current buyers list to see if anybody might be interested. And I can't imagine too many, I haven't tried this, but I can't imagine too many FISBOs not at least being interested in that part of the offer. Yeah. So, and I don't think we talked about it, but we just released letters like a week and a half ago. So it's not just postcards, it's letters and postcards. So yeah. in here we have our different fonts. So you can go and change that handwriting to match, you know, your, your style, however you want. Each one's a little bit different, but they're super, super realistic. I mean, we change everything about them. The font pressure, the glyphs, the line angle. You can see here it gets closer at the end. You know, it gets a little lighter at the end, like it tails off, like the ink's running out a little bit. I mean, we we like totally nerded out on this. Like probably. You did. I didn't nerd at all. I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but, you know, that's what you, I did. You really, what did you spend on that? Like three months? At least. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of time, so whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it really looks good, guys. I, I got one in the mail yesterday. I was trying to – my kids my kids couldn't tell, why, or they were just humoring me. But it, it really looks like somebody sent you a letter when you open the envelope. Yeah, now we have the custom envelopes too. So you got – you can pick not just the blanky, you know, you owe me money envelope. You got the thank you letter, thank you envelope. You got the, the other thank you. You got the airmail looking one, vintage style, and the American flag one. So that, yeah. that just comes with the cost of the letters. So we just built that in. And and you can we can do custom, Justin. It's just a bulk order, right? It's like, yeah, I mean, most real estate agents wouldn't qualify. It's 25000 to do your own custom envelope. Yeah. But it is an option. If you are planning to send a ton of mail, uh, it can be done. So what's uh, yeah, there's the, there's the analytics if you want to show that too. We, I haven't, we haven't talked about that. You want to go over the... Okay. Let's, Let's bang through these first. Then we'll okay. Uh, so you want to sell, I might have a buyer listing getting letters. Um, this is I, what I wanted to show here, Justin was a one-off campaign. So we just showed if you're going to do a multi-card expired or FISBO, but yeah. what if you just want to just send a letter out to everybody in a five block radius and you just yeah. would say, Hey, I got, I got these, I got this husband and wife with two kids. They're looking for a house in the neighborhood. We can't find anything. Um, if you're considering a sale, let me know. So Justin just hit send send he went to the letter design um you can design you can design letterhead the same way you can postcards by the way in yep. Tampa. So you pick that and you just type your message in um again you know just you could say what i just did or just do it yep. real short we don't need to bore everybody all right yeah but so this is listing prospecting um i think the best thing is i have some buyers or you know 
if the market's really hot, you're curious about the value, let me know. Um, there's a few different angles you can take there. And then you just go to your city and zoom in. And you can drop it in. And again, if you want to get even more targeted than just doing it on the map, you can go to the buy leads tab and do that demographic targeting if you want to get even more granular with who's going to get the letter. Yep. And then you can go and change your envelope to whatever you want. And yeah. I like the thank you. A good lead in on the thank you is just, hey, thank you for opening this letter. Right. So, and, and I think I haven't seen one of these. I haven't sent one to myself yet. But if I got that, I would have a hard time not opening it. It's like, oh, I would open that. I, yeah. and, that, and that's how we kind of built the company. We said, how do we make stuff that gets separated when people get their mail in the throw out pile versus the keep and look and open pile? So everything we do is like, will it go in the keep and open pile? Yeah. Joe, uh, just use thanks.io support. So when you're inside, there's a chat button. Joe's asking if you get, can get support that way. And just, we're, we're all obviously very familiar with KB Core. Um, so we, we can navigate that, but definitely do it on the thanks.io side of things. KV Core won't, you know, they won't be, they won't know much. I'll just send this, send you our way. Um, okay. Um, uh, set it and forget it farming, Justin. So we showed, we showed the just listed, just sold letters. Yeah. I mean, the expired physical campaigns. Do you want to show that farm.html page just to give people an idea of what we're talking about? I don't think we need to demo how to set that up. Yeah, it's, it's the same. Con I mean, it's kind of kind of old there but yeah. this gets you the idea of what you can do like we just built this for somebody really quick it, every month it was a different postcard with your picture and your logo and just this simple relevant information about the month just saying hey you know i think about it a great time to move yeah and your king's estate property might sell for what do you want to know like text or call me so every month it just stays in front of them with your picture and your logo and a nice short little message. So it's a top right. of mind campaign. Um, yeah. I don't know that I would do every month, but you could do four times a year. Yeah. You know, and then it, it works real every month. If you pick a small area, like pick a hundred homes and like the super high end neighborhood yeah. and just every month. Yeah. And you're, you're 12 cards times 49 cents a postcard. If you're using our, our postcard. So $6 a year, even if you send every yeah. month, um, to stay top of mind. If you start to do the math and you, you can convert 5% of those into listings over time, then you know, you, you're going to be the only agent sending 12 yeah. postcards a year. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's, that's one example, one way to get this done. Um, house anniversary or birthday cards. So I think at the bottom of the doc, I had a happy house anniversary template that we used to have there. Yeah. We have a couple of those in, yeah. uh, in the image templates, but uh, I think I don't. Is you can use our birthday templates, so we have the ability to do birth dates in in the mailing lists. So when you go and you upload your CSV, you can map a column here. I'll show you. Yeah, or you can go to any contact, Justin, and just. Yeah, that's true. Here, so when you're uploading, you can do it, but on on any contact in here, you can add a birthday. So if you add that birthday, you can, it'll automatically trigger a card to go out if you choose the birthday option on this list. So you just choose the list and then choose birthday as the trigger. But instead of using birthday, we use that field as their house anniversary. So just go in the list, add that date as their house anniversary, and then trigger the card or the letter sent for that date. This way, every client that you have, you just go back through and add to this list. And then every year they get a nice letter or postcard from you saying, Hey, it's been a, you know, a year, another year since your household. If you yeah. have any, any real estate stuff, just get a hold of me. Or happy birthday. <laughs> or happy birthday. Yeah. If it's a birthday. So I know a lot of, I know a lot of mortgage people, maybe not so many agents, but have, yeah. have the birthdays on file. Yeah. Um, and then you could change, you could send them the same card every year or you just have a task for yourself that recurs every year to just go change the birthday card once and then yeah. everybody gets a new card for that year. Yeah. So, and you just change the design right here in the campaign screen. Yep. So, 
uh, you know, and all of this, so we've, we've kind of shown you a mix of trying to get new leads with prospecting campaigns, expired FISBO, you know, do you want to sell your house? Now we're delving into with the farming and the, the birthdays staying top of mind and converting. We know that generating leads uh, is a, is a it, leads don't convert right away. So if you can start to do some of this stuff uh, in a way that uh, generates you conversations over time, keeps you top of mind, and also generates referrals, uh, it's good to have a mix. I, I know we didn't add this to the list, but I want to show them something really quick here. Yep. So, um, we have a Chrome extension that will find any address on any page. So if you guys like don't want to do our CRM integrations with you know, Zapier and all that stuff, right here, this little icon on the top, you see this number two? We found two addresses on this page automatically. So you just click this here, bam, address, add it to an mailing list, one click. So you can farm through stuff, add it to your list, or directly just send it right from Chrome. So your CRM that's web-based, your Red X crap that's web-based, here you go. Super easy. You just sent stuff without ever even going to thanks. Yeah, which a lot of people don't realize is there. Yeah, if you want to, um, uh, it's really useful with Google Maps if you want to hit up businesses. Yeah. There's some cases where you might want to do that. Uh, if you drill into a specific, you know, yeah, dentist. Um, and, you know, business owners love getting offers to buy investment property. Like the, it's never bad. So you get a letter say, hey, uh, from one business owner to another, uh, just want to let you know, I, you know, I, I specialize in working on multi-income, multi-unit commercial properties. If you're looking for a new location or you just want to pick up a property to add to your portfolio, give me a call. And yeah. just like that, what Justin's doing, you could just pop that out in the mail. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we could quickly show them the Zapier stuff. So we do have Zapier. So it gets really geeky, but more or less you can connect anything to thanks. So you go to, you know, any CRM, and you want to hook it over to us, you can do it. So anybody that has a Zapier login or a Zapier trigger, you can trigger a new record in Salesforce to send a postcard. It's that easy. Just log into two things, choose the trigger, then choose when it goes out and you're done. Now, anytime you add a new person to Salesforce, they get a postcard. We, again, we're not going to show you here, but, if you guys are gonna do this, just ask us, we'll, we'll help you set it up. Yeah, so if you, uh, a common use would be if you're getting seller leads from some source um, and you wanna send a follow-up postcard or, or, or add them to your farming list, every time you get a seller lead, uh, this, this is kinda of where you would do it. Yep. Cool. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, okay, how to design and write your message so people will actually respond. Um, that's kinda, of, that's, that's a really loaded question. Um, it is. I, I put it in there because I, <laughs> I didn't want to touch it. You got to you gotta be good at copy. Now, the, the postcards are pretty easy because you don't have a lot of space and you're just going to make an offer. Um, now, I have a bunch of examples down below. Justin, maybe we skip this section and I have a bunch in the doc at the bottom um, okay. of what other agents are doing. Most of those are actually from today. Let me, let me share you back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that would be better is just to kind of, I picked some that I thought were good and then I can talk about why I thought they were good maybe. All so right. I'll bring my screen up. Okay. And again, take everything Ryan says with a grain of salt with design because he has no idea how to design anything. Yeah, anything. So, so it's anything. It's all just like crazy Olaf legs and stuff. <laughs> all right, so this is, this is, uh, this is one I saw the other day. I don't have permission on a lot of these. I didn't have time to ask. So I'm not trying to hide things that are, might be proprietary to the client or has their name. Um, but I thought this one was really good. It was sent a few days ago. Uh, it it kind of like, it started out by saying, I hope this letter finds you well, but it kind of joins the conversation in their mind. I hope your family's happy and healthy. It you know, talks about the current state of things. If you know anybody who's considering a sale, then it transitions in. Uh, the current market is still very strong and brisk for sellers. Uh, you know, my, my sellers are getting top dollar interest rates are very favorable. Um, and, and I, I just think it's a really nice personal feeling letter, uh, that does a call to action and kind of helps her stay in touch. Um, yeah. so, and, and that's the key, the personal feeling. Don't make this look like junk mail. Talk yeah. about them. Just be honest, be real, 
And the front of the card, if it's, a, if it's a postcard, needs to mimic that too. Don't make it look like everything else that's in the mail. Yeah. Make it look different. Make it just be a picture of the town with your logo really teeny in the bottom. Like, but if it looks like junk mail, it's going to be treated like junk mail. And real estate agents have a real tough time separating themselves from that because they want to brand the heck out of this. But the more you brand it, the more likely they're going to say, oh, this is going in the garbage. So uh, this one here was me. I just uh, was playing with this earlier today. I'm working with two investors right now who are looking for multi-unit income properties in Pinellas County. I used to do this in Philly. You can go into your MLS, uh, Remind, if you have Remind, it makes this super easy. But you can look in the tax records for say multis or a certain property type. Look that the owner's address is out of town. Um, and I just kind of right away jump right into the benefit to them. I'm working with two investors who might be looking for a property like yours. I wonder if you might consider a sale. I put the address in and just call and text and let me know either way. Um, and then right at the bottom, I, this is for absentees. Since they own a property and they don't already live there, they might be actually looking for more. So I just do that in the PS. If you think, if you're looking to acquire more property instead of selling, I can help with that too. Just text me. So um, that's a campaign you can do very easily to get, you know, very easy to get absentee owners uh, and should be an effective listing getting campaign. A simple happy birthday. I just kind of grabbed a few of these. Uh, I, I like this one. I didn't want to show the front because I didn't know if the agent wanted his picture shown, but um, it just says just says their name, happy birthday. And I wish you a day filled with great fun and a year filled with true happiness. I don't. I like this because it's not overcomplicated. He doesn't try to pitch anything. He's just doing making a touch um, yeah. to a past client or somebody he knows. Um, that's just a nice thing. And um, it's important to keep things short. I think there's one thing to be learned out of that. Everybody yep. writes too much stuff. Two or three sentences. That's it. Anything yep. more than that, people are going to be like, All right, yeah, no, I'm not reading this. So at 49 cents, you know, you think about the numbers. Marion gets this card. And she's like, oh, that's nice. And then maybe yesterday she was talking to a friend at the barber shop or wherever about wanting to sell a house. I'm like, oh, why don't I, you know, that's right. I know this aging guy. Why don't I tell her about it? And that's kind of what can happen from this. It's not just about getting direct business from the client. Um, this one was really cool, I thought. Um, it's thank you for, uh, I need to do a great job of hiding the name. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to return my message and call me back. Uh, I appreciate that. So this is a thank you letter, uh, for, uh, about a listing appointment. I can't tell if a listing appointment happened or if they just kind of responded to an expired letter or something and, uh, didn't use our handwritten text. She used a regular font. looks very professional. And it just says, Hey, uh, if you do decide to list, thank you for considering me get in touch. So, I think this is a very smart um, letter to send, even if you lose on a listing appointment, because you never know what's going to happen with the age that they chose. You might be the backup option. Um, Fizbo script. Justin, you watching the chat? Just in case I'm not watching. Um, uh, this I thought was really good. This was a Fizbo letter. By now, you might be considering a backup plan to sell your house. So this is somebody a Fizbo. He's probably sending it 30 days or 60 days later. Uh, but if you're like me, you wouldn't do anything else. It doesn't make sense uh, for you. Uh, and he's just inviting them for coffee. So this was a follow-up, I think, on another uh, letter that was sent earlier, Fizbo script. Uh, thanks for connecting. This I did show, William. Uh, I just like this, Justin, for the design. It wasn't overthought. I like it. Yeah, just a picture of the local neighborhood. Thanks for connecting. Whatever, he's following up. They had a phone call or something like that, and he's just making another touch. Um, we enjoyed working with you. Here's a thank you uh, for a home sale. So I think this was a uh, congratulations on selling. We enjoyed working with you and had a great experience along the way. Wish you the best of luck. I couldn't tell if this was um, the, if, if this agent had the buyer side of the deal and they were thanking the sellers, which I think would be clever <laughs> and interesting. Uh, I don't know code of ethics wise, if that's okay. I mean, they're not a client anymore um, or if it was an actual listing of theirs, but it's a, it's a simple thank you. Uh, expired follow-up postcard. Uh, this was a follow-up. I hope you received my previous letter. In your opinion, why didn't your home sell? I'd be happy to have an easygoing conversation, share some new ideas with you. Looking forward to, to it. So, you know, we, I think you guys know, sometimes with expireds, FISBOs, it's not really so much even about the message. It's just about consistently sending something else. So obviously this is being automatically triggered after another event and thanks helps you do that. You know, you don't have to remember to go 10 days later and send another card. It can all be programmed. The bots can do it. Uh, thanks for visiting my website, James. This is 
really simple, just a logo and a name. Probably took, what, three minutes in Canva? Uh, I know someone who wants to buy your home. I don't know how honest this is, but, you know, maybe he does. That one? What's that? Did you design that one? I, I, don't, I don't mind it. It burns the eyeballs. It look, you know, sometimes there's something to it looking really homemade, Justin. So I, I know, I know. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Want to sell? Uh, here's uh, Tracy. So this is one of our, this was one of our old templates that we had. We just got Tracy's picture on there. Uh, we have buyers. Do you want to sell? And the other side of the card just kind of echoes that message. Uh, here's the happy house anniversary angle. So one year after they sold. Um, here's absentee again. Did I do it? Oh, this was a postcard design. Want to sell your out of town property. So that same message I had before in a letter, you could easily kind of do that similar messaging. Hey, I got people looking for, um, multis or land would be a good one. Um, do you want to sell your lot at one, two, three main street? Let me know. And then, uh, there's another FISBO one. The last one I had and what we'll be doing. Oh, looks like I made a mistake. Um, that was a FISBO. If I bring a buyer, will you pay a commission? I'll get that into the doc here and make sure you guys all get that with the replay and we'll be adding more there. So uh, plenty of inspiration, right, Justin? A hundred ways to use uh, thanks.io. Yeah, and we really recommend going into Canva. If you want something that's edited, just go in there, take one of those templates and turn it into one of these things. It's way, the easiest way to do it. Yep. So um, those were examples. Just some extra notes here. Uh, how to track your results. We had an article about using uh, phone tracking through the phone wagon system. We talked about that on last week's webinar. Uh, but basically, there are systems that will let you get phone numbers and have people call in, um, and they can listen to a recorded message. They can auto-reply with a text. Um, you can have people call your number directly, but the key point here is if you are going to be sending lots of letters, you're going to track the results, so figure out a way to do it. So uh, you can use text codes. If you're using something like KV Core, like a lot of you guys are, you can put your smart number text codes in and have a, a separate text code for each campaign so you know what the results are. Uh, you can get email addresses and forward them um, through, say, a Gmail. Yeah, Gmail has the, the say, uh, I don't know if everybody knows this, but you can do my Gmail's propnox at gmail.com, but you can do propnox plus uh, 123 at gmail.com. Um, and then you can tell everybody who emails from that. And then, of course, there's always custom URLs and QR codes, which a lot of our e-commerce people use. Um, so you would buy a vanity domain uh, and then track the referrals through that domain. It's a little, little techie. But, um, and honestly, I guess, Justin, maybe in real estate, we don't need to worry too much if we send 100 letters uh, <laughs> to people and we're like, hey, do you want to sell your house? I guess we're going to know if we get three phone calls. Exactly. Yeah. And most yeah. of our bigger centers, you know, they're sending out tens of thousands and, and they really want to quantify it. But at a hundred, you know, it, it, it's going to be tough. But what, what we really push with this is, is direct mail has about a half a percent response rate. If you send out the normal rotor router or old school looking direct mail, our stuff, when we do it, we can get a three, four, five percent response rate. So if you send out a hundred cars, you would expect five people to call you, but you have to do it the way we're talking or they're going to chuck it. And this is why we keep pushing, you know, make it look like it's something they got from grandma. They'll read it. But, but if it Justin looks like designed it, it, not Ryan. So yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> if it looks like it came from, you know, a Geico ad, like they're not going to, they're not going to engage. As high. Yep. All right, so, so some final thoughts. Um, we see Justin Mel's on, the, on here too. Our, you know, we see it all the time, guys. I talk to real estate agents all day, and the biggest kind of thing that gets in the way is uh, we're all entrepreneurs here. I think we could be honest. You guys want to do 20 different things at one time. Um, and I think the best way to approach this instead of getting overwhelmed is just pick one of these ideas uh, and don't stop until you get it out the door and in the mailbox. Um, we have a, just, I think you'd agree. We have a lot of conversations today. You're like, I want to do this and that and this yep. and that and, and nothing happens. Yep. Um, so just, just pick one idea, try to get a hundred postcards or a hundred letters out. Um, try to maybe just send five postcards to some friends to say hello, just to get, get, get a feel for the system, but do one thing at a time. Um, we do have, we're just getting kicked off implementation services. Um, we, I think we have a link to that in our support, but you can ask our support team. Um, we, we can't, do everything for free. We'll help you as much as we can. But if you do want to just say, Hey guys, 
I want to get a farming campaign out and I don't want to deal with any of this. I want to push a button and pay a few bucks. Uh, we can do that for you. Um, and then the last thing I want to bring up was just some of the math as Justin was alluding to um, in real estate. Our, our things that I owe is 49 a month to get the wholesale rate. And then if you send 100 cards, uh, postcards at 59 cents a card, right? That's another 59 bucks. So 49 plus 59 is what, 108? 49 cents a card. Sorry. Yeah. 49 cents a card. Are you marking it up, Randy? I don't know where I got that from. All right, so 98 bucks equals 98 total. So for 98 bucks, and just so you know, our wholesale plan gets you actually your first 100 cards free the first month. So you get like a bonus 100 cards for sending. But uh, 98 bucks, a 1%, if, if you can send 100 cards and you get 1% of people, that's one person to ask you about uh, to do a listing appointment. I think the numbers really work out there. I don't even need to dig further. So you see where I'm going. Um, you may need to send more than hundred cards to get that result. I'm pretty confident that if you sent a thousand and you spent, it would be 900, well, it wouldn't be 980 bucks. It would be 500 or so, right? Yeah. Um, 549 or so. Yep. Um, if you send a thousand, I would be really surprised if you didn't get one or two people. If you use some of the scripts we showed who said, yeah, uh, I do want to list. And if they don't do it right away, uh, this is a, a thing, something I learned from Antonio Atacan when I was on his team in Philadelphia. I remember him telling me, look, just keep doing this stuff, man. I was doing all kinds of stuff, sending letters. And you know, he's like, cause you're not going to get a return from a, for the effort for six to 12 months. And he was absolutely right. Six to 12 months went by after he told me that. And some of the stuff I was mailing out and doing people were replying to later because they're just not ready, but they take your postcard you're giving, they take your letter, you've sent them something tactile and they hang it on their refrigerator or they put it in the desk drawer and then they call you when they're ready. So um, there is a little bit of faith here, but there's also a lot of logic and math involved. And if you can get a 1% return, the numbers in real estate are pretty awesome. Um, you know, 1% return, even on our letters are $1.19, that's $119. I think any of us would buy a listing for $119. So not that I'm guaranteeing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not guaranteeing that, but, and it is going to be hit and miss, but the people who are consistent will get results, you know? Um, yeah. And especially now with the cost per click rising so much, like we, we, we've done cost per click ads forever. I mean, that's what we used to do. Like, yeah, you know, well, we're, you know, Google pay for three bucks, right? Yeah. Google pay per click for most in most real estate markets. Some markets, it's still a dollar or a dollar 50 and a lot of the more competitive ones, you're, you're around three or four bucks sometimes. Um, and that's just to get somebody on your website. You don't know if they're going to opt in. Um, here, what you're able to do is you have a very high chance that they're going to read your message. If you send a letter, you, you can say a lot. Um, and again, it's something physical that kind of lingers around their house. Um, so it's not just a fleeting, like three seconds they spend with you on a website and they forget about you forever, you know? So, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Well, so, we and, cover it. all right. That was a good demo. Justin, good job. Is it dinner time? It's almost dinner time. Yeah. Here on the East Coast. Does anybody have any questions for us or any feedback? Michael had a question that I kind of ignored. So I'll, I'll try to adjust that now. So he says, Housing Wire called me today and they said they were doing a product demo day. They're planning to have uh, uh, 300 to 500 participants. The sponsors get a lead list and they want 5,500. So you don't need to spend 5,500 with us. Uh, no. It's about 12 to $20 per lead. And he wants to know, can we get, get him the 10 bucks a lead? Man, I don't know if I can guarantee that. Um, being, being honest, it just looks a little different. Yeah, I mean, the direct mail has always been different than online stuff when it comes to the cost per lead. Because it, it comes down to what your message says, what, what list you're sending to, all of that. But yeah, so we have people that have done it like well under that. I mean, if you send it with a thousand people with the right message, you can easily get 10 people to respond to you. Yeah. And that, I mean, I mean like full on, like showing appointments respond. I, I think that, I think that direct for, for lead generation, um, it's better if you have a higher ticket thing, like a house to sell with a five yeah. to $10,000 commission. But yeah. Michael has a, he has a, um, a membership site, um, yeah. you know, a, a web service online. And the way that we use it 
is we use it, we do conversions. Um, yeah. So I would say if you have that kind of business, you do the, you're probably better served doing follow-up. Yeah. Joe just asked about expired campaigns. You can just read out, reach out to support that we have a, we have a a la carte list to choose from. Well, they're cheap. I mean, it's 25 to 50 bucks to do the do stuff. We're not charging a ton. Yeah. The, the main reason we're charging guys is just to honestly, to keep you committed to the process. <laughs> we have a lot of phone calls that people forget. And we know that if you spend 25 bucks, you'll follow up and get us what we need. Sometimes we need a list. We need to know what, you know, what creatives you want and things like that. So, um, yeah, I don't know what the response would be on expired campaign, Joe. All I know is that I used to manually handwrite. I used to send my business card in an envelope with the back that says, uh, I can sell your house. It was so juvenile and I would get calls. <laughs> so you can, it works on some level and I know people are doing it every day, but I haven't, I can't give you a response rate. Yeah. Um, and it's also going to vary with the marketplace, you know, yeah. what, where, where the market conditions are. Um, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, guys, if there's anything else you need, there's no other questions, but we'll get the replay out. Uh, we have the Dirty Marketing Mastermind Facebook group that is uh, dirtymarketingmastermind.com. If you're not already in there, we post thanks.io examples and other marketing stuff in that group. Uh, one of the things that we are focused on is how to mix direct mail in with the other marketing channels you're using. So if you have questions about, hey, where will, what, how do I send postcards alongside my uh, PPC, what percentage of my budget should I put where? This is a good place to kind of come in and talk with Justin, me, and, and all the other goofy members inside this thing. So, uh, uh, Tracy's asking what the 49 bucks a month does the 100 cards accumulate? No, it's it's just a one time bonus. Um, yeah, I wish I could, but at the yeah. 49, we're literally breaking even. We'd be giving it away if we did it yeah. every month. We only make three cents per card. So, if we gave 100 a month, we'd make about 60 cents <laughs> yeah lights on yeah we couldn't keep the lights on um there's a question about the phone tracking i just put a um a tutorial it's actually inside of thanks that we have a link right yep just yeah right in the right in the nav on the left it'll be it'll say results tracking click there they're by far the best phone tracking system we've seen watch yeah. the video on how we used it for our own stuff how we built the thanks funnel and you can kind of copy that it, it's awesome yeah Otherwise, you can, um, again, you can, you know, start out by, you can use Google Voice, you can use your own number, but phone wagon is really cool. Yeah, we got the best results of any direct mail campaign we did by combining automatic text message response when somebody calls a number uh, on the direct mail piece. It's, it's the best way to connect the offline with the on, by far. Yep. So, yeah, we, we actually talked about that in last week's webinar, and if you go into the Facebook group, you can see the recording there as well. Yeah. Well, cool. My yeah. wife's screaming at me. I think I got to go get dinner. Yeah, my belly's screaming at me. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll get the recording live as soon as possible, and we, we'll be back next Thursday with something fresh. Uh, probably won't be real estate related. I've had enough of real estate. Let's do something else. All right. All right. See you later. Yeah.